Good evening or good morning, depending on what time you're watching these videos. Welcome to our 30 day fitness program for the holy month of Ramadan. Today, we are doing pull. What you will need for our pulling exercises are a kettlebell or a like, dumbbells or a like. I'm gonna run you through the exercises really quick. So you pause the video, get equipment what you need. If you're at home, if you're in the gym, you'd be sweet. If you're at home, and then we'll come back and get started. So we're gonna do bent over rows. We're gonna do bent over rows with our dumbbells. We're gonna do kettlebell high pulls. We're gonna do 21s on the biceps. We're gonna do bent over flies. And then we're gonna do a bicep superset at the end. So dumbbells and a kettlebell or something similar. Okay, first set we're gonna do bent over rows. It'll be three sets of 12 reps. Now three sets of 12 reps is for me. You might do three sets of five reps. You might do five sets of five reps. You might do three sets of 20. Depending on the weight you're using, depending on what you can handle, okay? Generally when I train, I like to do five sets of five of really heavy, but obviously I warm up first and get to that stage. So we'll begin. Grab my dumbbells. I'm gonna bend from the hips. I'm gonna give you the side angle first, and then for the second set, we'll do from the front, okay? So I'm gonna bend from the hip. My legs are a little bit bent. I'm gonna bend from the hips, okay? And then I'm going to row. Now, depending on how you do it, this way, this way, it's up to you, or this way, just what muscles you're gonna hit. This is more bicep related, okay? So I'm just gonna do outside, you hit the shoulders, and one, 12 we're going for, two, three, don't swing, four, back straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I may have chosen two heavy weights. That's all right. We're getting uncomfortable. We're getting comfortable being uncomfortable. We'll give ourselves another 20 seconds rest. So 30 seconds between each set and we'll do it again. So here we're hitting rear delts and shoulders. Here we're hitting biceps and lats. We're still hitting our back, but it's just different muscles. So I'll leave it to you to focus on what you want to focus on. I'm going to do wide because I want to work my shoulders. Bend, chest up, back straight. One. I'm not releasing my shoulders at the bottom. I'm still keeping them squeezed back. So we're not going to open all the way down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm starting to feel that just in here, which is where I want to feel it. If you're doing this way, you'll get it more in the bicep, still the back of the shoulders, but also engage your lats. So again, connect with the muscle that you're trying to work on, you're trying to focus on, to ensure that's the muscle firing primarily. There's always gonna be secondary muscles and supporting muscles, but try and connect with that primary muscle you're trying to work. So five seconds more, get onto the third set, third and final set, I should say. Grab your weights, back straight, and one. I'm releasing to here, not to here, keeping the shoulders back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, twelve. Good. Starting to warm up, starting to fire. When you pick up the weights and put them down, still work on your form. If I picked them up like this, I'm still putting pressure on my back. And generally you find that you hurt yourself in times that obviously when you're not expecting, you come to the gym and you squat 100 kilos, then you go to pick up your bag after and then you hurt your back. So just be conscious of how you're picking your weights up and putting them down because you can injure yourself when you least expect it. Now, with the high pulls, we've done this in one of my previous pulling exercises, one of my previous pulling days. We're gonna work on the traps. Traps are here. We're gonna pull elbows up like this. Like this is no good. That is working more here. Come up to here. When we come down, we only release to there. No need all the way down. I wanna keep these guys firing. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're doing 15 reps. On the 15th rep, we're gonna hold at the top for five seconds, squeeze, if you can. We're gonna do three sets of that with a 30 second rest. So, if you find that it's too heavy, lower the reps before you change the weight. Okay, 
are you ready? And one, come halfway down or three quarters of the way down. Two, we're keeping the traps engaged. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, two more, 14 on the 15th one, 15, hold and squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. We should be getting that here on both sides, squeezing the traps. Very good. So far, so good. Again, if you found it was a little bit heavy, don't do 15 reps, do 10, and then hold on the 10th for five seconds. If you really struggled at the six mark, okay, go lower on the weights, or do five sets of six, five sets of five. Again, it's a program you want. If you're following us, just push through the best you can. Okay, you ready? Five seconds, we start again. Second set of high pulls, and one, two. My general rule is I bring my hand back down to the heart of my belly button. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, squeeze at the top, 14, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. The last five seconds, a game changer. And again, even on any rep, or any rep you do on any exercise, if you just rush through it, it's still good, but it's not as good as if I squeeze at the point of the exercise. So when I come up on my curl, I'll squeeze the biceps at the top and squeeze the biceps at the top. I'm doing the same exercise, but I'm getting more bang for buck, you know what I mean? I'm in the gym for 45 minutes an hour, I wanna get every drop of juice out of that 45 minutes an hour. No time to waste. Three, <clears throat> last set, two, and one, two. Don't let the shoulders come down, open the hands, keep the shoulders, sorry, open the arms, and keep the shoulders up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and we're gonna hold, here we go, for five seconds, squeeze, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Bravo, bravo at home. That was tough. The next one is gonna be bicep curls but I wouldn't do the weight you ordinarily do for bicep curls because we're doing 21 reps. 21 reps. We're doing seven bottom reps. On the seventh, when we get to here, we're doing seven top reps. On the seventh, when we get to here, we're doing seven full reps. I know, I know, you're gonna be jacked when you finish. Or you're gonna feel it very tight, that's for sure. So, no time like the present, they said. 21s. So we'll have our hands in front here. Try not to let your shoulders come forward. Try and retract your shoulders. We wanna get as straight as we can so we hit the bottom of the bicep, okay? So we're going for 21s, we're doing three sets, 30 second rest. And one, try and get all the way down. Two, straighten out at the bottom. Three, four, five, Six, and then we get seven, stop there. Now top seven, one, only come halfway down. Two, staggered stance if you need to. Four, five, six, seven. Now on this one, we're doing full seven, all the way down, all the way up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Seven, yes, let me tell you. If you're using two 10 kilo dumbbells like me, good job, because that burnt. As you can tell, the drops of sweat on my brow. Very good. So two more sets of that, so they're burning, and you should feel them firing. We don't have our shoulders come forward, we wanna keep our shoulders back, we wanna focus. 
we're in the bottom seven. We're trying to hit the bottom of the bicep. So we come to here, there's no point in getting to there. We're gonna get all the way out, so we're full extension. And the tops, we're hitting the top. And then full, slow it down, all the way up, all the way down. Remember, squeeze every drop of juice you can out of every set. Okay, set number two of a possible three. <clears throat> Hit on the bottom first, you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, top half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, full seven. And one, two, all the way down. Three, four, five, six, seven, yes. The last set is gonna be a killer. That was tough. I can feel the fatigue from the second set. Fire, my God. Anyway, that's so what it's about, right? We're doing it together, so you're struggling, I'm struggling, but we're both succeeding. We're gonna step closer to that 30th day. Looking forward to the 30th day. I wonder what it will bring. I wonder what surprises either me or Kieran will have in store, or maybe both of us. Who knows? I feel like the 30th day is gonna be like, it's gonna be a killer. It's gonna be a killer. No pressure though, right? No pressure. Third set. Bottom seven to start. Stay in stance if you swing. Try not to swing. I, st I get start here from the bottom, it's easier for me. And the top, I get staggered because I lose my balance. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're hitting full. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six, one more, ah. seven. Yes, crew. That's what I'm talking about. That was a burn. That was a burn. Grab yourself a beverage. Good stuff. So we're half the way through the circuit, through, through the session. We have three more exercises: bent flies and a bicep superset. A bicep superset. Okay. So the bent flies. I'm going to stick with this weight. If your form's not great, lower it. If you have any back problems, lower it. We're bending from the hips the same as the bent over rows. We're coming up. Now, if you have a bench or you're in the gym and you can lay flat, you can lay flat on the bench and you can do flies so there's no pressure on your back. If you're at home, you might be standing like me. Do we get sponsorship from Alain Water? Drink Alain. <laughs> Hasn't worked so far. The sponsorship deal, I mean. Right, bent flies. We're gonna aim for three sets of 10 to 12. Three sets of eight to 12, depending on the weight, okay? So I'm gonna aim for 12. See how we go, that might be very optimistic, but we'll give it a crack. So bending from the hips, the same as the first exercise. We'll do a side on first, okay? Bend from the hips, keep the back straight. This is not back straight, this is back straight. And then we're gonna go out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three to go. Three, two, one. I feel that down the back of my hamstrings, it's a stretch because I'm not very flexible. If you have an opportunity to lay on a bench, even if the bench is on an incline, that's fine because you're taking all the tension off your core, off your back your legs and you're focusing purely on the exercise that we're doing but if you're in this position it's fine don't swing you shouldn't feel any pain in your back 
Pressure is different to pain. You're gonna feel the tension, but no pain. <coughs> Excuse me. We might as well do set number two. Okay, grab your weights, bend from the hips. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three to go. Three, two, one. Good job. 30 seconds rest, one more set, and then one more exercise. And that's our pool session done. That was good. If you feel, find yourself swinging, lower the weights. Or if you find yourself swinging after a certain number of reps, stop when the form starts to drop. Okay, it's very important. Five seconds more, last set bent rows. Bent flies. Three, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three to go, three, two, one. I reckon I swung probably the last two. I could feel myself using momentum. Not ideal, but for the last two reps of the third set, not bad. Now, we're going to do supersets of bicep curls and hammer curls. So the difference, we're not doing two together, we're doing singles, okay? So you can start like this, you can start like this, doesn't matter. We're gonna go one, two, eight, nine, ten. Then from here, turn our hands so our thumbs are up, and we're going one, two, eight, nine, ten. Supersets so there's no rest between. We're simply gonna, when we get to the bottom of the 10th, we're gonna change to hammer curls, okay? So it's just focusing on a, another muscle. So the bicep curls are gonna obviously hit the biceps. When we do the hammer curls, we're gonna hit this muscle here that sits just between the bicep and the tricep, as well as the top of the forearm, okay? So let's have a crack. Three sets of 20, 10 and 10, and we're done. <clears throat> with me and one two three four five six seven eight nine one more ten now we're going up one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very, very good. On the second, on the second exercise, the hammers. You can see this muscle here, the top of the forearm, is firing through the bicep. When we go on an angle like this, then we're going to hit more here. Okay, we're going to work that a little bit more. So here, straight on, no problem. You feel this a lot. Grip strength's good. So ten, turn it over. Ten. We're not swinging on either. Have another 10 seconds rest. We'll jump on to set number two. Pick up your weights. We start in three, two, and one, two, three. Focus on the muscle you're trying to work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. I tell you, this 10, 10 kilos is much easier on this exercise than it was on the 21s. So if you had to change, you had to lower it for the 21s and then come back to this for the last exercise, good stuff. 21 reps of anything is quite difficult let alone the same muscle with a decent weight. So another 15 seconds, and we'll smash out our last set of our last exercise. You're welcome. Three, two, and 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, thumbs up. One, two, three, four. Still try and keep your elbows in front. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, good job. I worked up a sweat, I hope you did as well. As I mentioned, pretty much every video, make sure you keep the hydration, it's very important. If you're fasting, you wake up through the night, drink as much as you can. Especially if you're an active person, you're outside or you, you, know, you, you have a physical job, because it's not, you don't wanna be dehydrated. It's not, it's not good, it's not good for you. You can't do these exercises, you can't do your training as you should, with no fluids. So through the night, make sure hydrate is more important than food. Okay, that's what I, that's my only tip. Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks again, Hook and Real Media. Follow them on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, on everything. Aisha's doing a great job making us look good. Thank you so much. See you next time.